I'm Ian Sinclair. I play the wieneriest of the characters. His name is Niall Duck. I am the head of the military police. <laughs> Don't cheer for Niall Duck. <laughs> really? Don't, I mean, I appreciate the sentiment, but you don't like him. I don't like the guy. We can all join in on that. On the other hand, someone we do like is... Armin! <laughs> Armin. <Yeah. laughs> Aaron, no! We love you, Greeley. <laughs> Josh, I hope you see this. Give me a call. Seriously. <laughs> steak sounds good. You want to do steak? We can do that. We're going to watch some bebop. It'll be great. Yeah. But I'll see you in Azeroth when I get back home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, my name is Matthew Mercer, uh, voice actor from L.A., and I voice uh, Captain Levi. So yeah! Yeah! Let's try it one more time. Go. Isn't that fun? You do it. You do it. So much power. <laughs> so that's basically what it was like being an attack on Titan. <laughs> I have no idea. Cool, so yeah, he plays Captain Levi. Isn't that awesome? He's one of my favorites. That dude comes in and just kicks ass from moment one, man. I've been telling him, okay, now I warned him, and you guys are going to have to deal with this for a minute. I told him in the green room, I'm like, you're going to have to deal with me like fanboying on you for a minute when we start. And... Tell, tell him, I'm not joking when I say this, I have, since I saw your Levi, been coming up to you going, he's so good. How did you do that? That's so good. I've been doing it. It's, it's, it's true. true. It's amazing. I love this character. And it's something like, it's, it's just a great delivery and great character. Oh, yes, you think you can get away. I know where <laughs> you live now, sir. It's true, actually. No, it's, it's, it's been an absolute blast. It's a great show, man. It, it's one of those shows where uh, when the auditions came in from, uh, from Mike McFarland, uh, I'm out in L.A., so I'm not as involved in, in the Funimation folks in Texas, so I was really happy to have the opportunity to work with them again, uh, hopefully. When the auditions came, I didn't know much about the show. I just knew it existed out there. I remember that that was just as it started showing in Japan and that anime expo that year. Everyone was in all these strange brown and tan military uniforms. Like, everyone, what is this... What's it about? I watched the trailer online and was like, this is it's big people eating tiny people. Okay. <laughs> Got it. And so I auditioned for it without really knowing what the show was about, but, you know, researched the characters a little bit, and then went ahead and decided to watch the show in Japanese, because it was on Netflix, I think, at the time. And I was like, sure, I'll watch the first couple episodes to get a feel for it while I wait to hear back about the audition. Cut to eight or nine hours later. I'm still on my couch with my blanket going, <sighs> There's only one season? No! No! Where's the rest? <laughs> yeah. I know. We're all we're all in that point of lament. <laughs> and <laughs> and Close, the cult no begins. Titans. And we all went, wait, an LA guy got it? Let me hear Oh, that's really good. <laughs> oh wait, who got Aaron? Who got Oh man. Because Mike would be uh, uh, your screams, and uh, he, we're, Mike and I are friends, so he played me in some of y'all's auditions, and like, Bryce's scream in that, you're just like, oh my god, because it's an audition, and that is the most gut-wrenching, balls-out audition scream I've ever heard, ever. It was amazing, and, and what you did, I, I listened to it, and I went, oh man, I wish, I wish I had done that, that was really good. <laughs> it's good, man, it's, yeah, man. <laughs> Actually, about that auditioning process. Um, so we all had to record this at home at our home studios, and I have an apartment in Sherman Oaks with a bunch of neighbors nearby with very thin walls. <laughs> and um, I, I had a busy week going up to that point, so the auditions were due the next morning, and I realized it was like, you know, 10, 11 o'clock that night. I should probably get these knocked out. 
And so I start recording, and I read for Aaron, Irvin, and Levi. And each one of the scripts ended with this escalation of yelling and screaming, like, I will effing kill you at the top of your lungs, like just blood curdling scream. I'm like, I do it once, like, I will effing kill you. Okay, now one more time. Okay, I'm going to go back on that. I will effing kill you. All right, let me try. I'll do two more. Exactly, just over and over again. And then I, I, I stopped for a second and realized, the neighbors were having a party next door. It's now <laughs> really quiet over there. Oh, no. <laughs> and so I, I went next door to my neighbor's house, knocked on the door, the door opened, and everyone's like quietly watching the door. It's like, hey, I'm Matt from next door. I probably, by the way, nice to meet you. Uh, I should probably mention I'm a voice editor for a living in these raw auditions. And as soon as I said that, you could see the room visually re relax and release. Like, we were on the verge of calling the police. We thought someone was getting murdered over there. <laughs> like, some yeah. sort of bad domestic violence. I'm like, no, 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 it's just an audition. But you did, really, but it was just an audition. <laughs> But I, I heard you scream, and that's the cool thing. Like you went for that scream, man, and that's why you're that's why you're Levi, man. Like he awesome. doesn't scream. He doesn't know, but like you, Thankfully. like, but as an actor, giving that, you know, like giving that all, like, because you can phone it in and be like, I mean, I'm gonna do a scream, but I'm not gonna do the uh, tear my throat, taste blood scream. Mm -hmm. But y'all did. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, they did a good job. You do enough military games, enough screaming yeah, yeah, <laughs> on a daily yeah, basis. Yeah. <laughs> we can taste the blood in the back of your mm. throat, and you're like, oh, that should stop now. Irony, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so this is a Q&A. Apparently so. Yeah. So, who's got questions? You pick first. I would like to pick, uh, not you, the one behind you. <laughs> yes. No, I'm going to get you next. I just have never seen this. Oh, Attack on Titan Bridge. I haven't seen it. Oh, you need to see it. Okay, yeah. Oh, I've done a few events with Team Four Star, and like all their bridge stuff is hilarious. But the <laughs> Attack on Titan, it's, it's, it's no, no less so than, than a bridge. Those who haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. They do fantastic iterations of various popular anime and, and, and game projects, and they do just do a comedy. Uh, shortcut essentially of the storyline in a very wonderful parody way. So definitely check it out. It's hilarious. You need to see it. I'm not watching. Watch you, need to, you need to see it. I'll be watching on my head. I'll watch it on the way home. Okay. Um, Fuck. I actually remembered something that I forgot to say. Let me tell you a little story real quick. So the last Attack on Titan panel I had been in, I had not got uh, the um the discs for the second half weren't out, and I hadn't seen. Let's say who the female Titan was. That's not good. Saying that there's a female Titan isn't a spoiler. I didn't know who that was, and I said, no spoilers. To give you a little context, I don't watch the next time on Doctor Who. I don't watch next time ons for like Master Chef. I don't like any vague spoilers. And, and not everybody probably in this room has seen all of season one of Attack on Titan. So for God's sakes, don't do that to somebody else. Because imagine, just imagine if someone spoiled that for you. Yeah, oh, and on that note, there's a dude selling a poster downstairs that shows all of the people and all of the Titans that they're gonna be, and I'm like. <laughs> God. It's, 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 it's sick. Hi there, thank you. Bad form, Peter. It's just, now I know. <sighs> so don't, please, please don't spoil for your friends. If, if you got something that may be spoiler, work your darndest to make sure you're not because you want to have that magic for your friends, man. And you don't want them sitting around going, okay, if that person's that person, then who's that person? Because that person made a little side look at them. and Oh my God, that means they're all <laughs> like I did. Now it was ruined for me. <laughs> God help you if you tell me what's happening in the manga. Actually, I had somebody tell me what's happening with my character eventually in the manga. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's not spoilers. That's just... Oh, yeah, the fact that I didn't die, I guess that is a spoiler. <laughs> I'm the head of the military police. Yeah, like he's going to go to the front lines. He's going to whine about the people who are at the front lines not having the right shirt on or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get another question. I will go over this side, too. I will go over Mikasa. What was your favorite character in the series? Favorite character in the series? Uh, I mean, I... I 
I'm a little biased because uh, I like Levi, but I think overall the character that I really, really enjoy and connect their, to their arc and what they do is probably Armin. I think Armin's just such a great character. It's, it's between those two for me. Like the action, like the guy who loves the action star loves the Han Solo, but the guy who l loves Josh Greeley, man, I'd, I'd like, he's so good. He's so good in that. He's just, he blows, continues to surprise and blow me away. That scream, that scream though, that scream though. The scream that spawned a thousand Tumblr yeah, memes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, spider meme's think still the best. That caused him blood. Like, I think that's one of those I almost passed out stories. <laughs> so yeah, those are those are my those are my two as well. <laughs> you the next one. Boom. OTP. Me and your mom. OTP. Oh, me and his mom. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Respect that. Oh, within the, okay, within Attack on Titan, or... Hmm. No, what do you think? Well, having done a few conventions with her, and uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to say Levi Petra, which was very sad, yeah. very heart-wrenching. Yeah. I've seen a lot of fan art come out, especially at some of the recent events that are just, like, extremely heart-wrenching artwork of the two of them. I'm like, oh, <laughs> why yeah. do you do this to me? <laughs> okay, I'll sign it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Now, you see how he did that? Not a single spoiler. Learn. Um, so, mine is Ervin and Niall. <laughs> Look it up. It's in the manga. <laughs> All righty. Uh, we're going to go back to Ramus back there. If our characters are us, because char my, hmm, go ahead. <laughs> Wait. So the question is layered as if either of our characters were titans, who would they? Oh, their thing be. Uh, mine's thing would be hiding, <laughs> but really ineffectively <laughs> because a <the> titan. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're you're running wrong. You would never see the landscape be more organized and clean <laughs> than if Levi becomes a titan. Just picking up trees and like... Yeah, pruning them properly, s sweeping the grass. See, what I want to know <laughs> is if you were a titan, what would it be like? Uh, if I was a titan, it'd be, it wouldn't be too far from the... <laughs> <laughs> I, I would be the derpiest yeah. titan ever. <laughs> God, I love abnormals. It's so like my favorite part of the whole show. <laughs> One of the most terrifying images you will ever see. <laughs> someone, oh God, someone here had like uh, uh, the pajamas. pajamas with yep. the, oh my God, it's so fun. <laughs> it, you, you might find her. She has pajamas just covered in abnormals. It's hilarious. Hilarious. <sighs> also seen nightmare inducing. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I, it, it's been a couple months since I've watched it. It might be just a month. I don't even remember anymore. But it's been long enough now that I can giggle about it. But man, those few days where I was binging it, and there yeah. was no, there was no light in the world. No, no. It's it's that one, and there's the other one. The, uh, oh yeah. yeah. Creepy crab walk spider titan. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Nope. 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 All right. Uh, yeah, your question. That's mine. I like a uh, little lady in the back with a uh, hat. Yeah, that's you. That, uh, yeah, that, yeah. Are you pointing at herself. Yeah, that's you. That's a guy. So you got to pull down. <laughs> I realized why you misunderstood. I saw a hat and makeup and I was like, oh, sorry about that. This is going to be something when people say, do you have a con story where you're a complete jerk? I'm going to be like, well, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Please, sir. <laughs> My opinion is, uh, I hope I hope they put enough budget into it to give it its due. Um, looking at even the bits they did for the the car commercials, which looks really cool. Oh yeah, have you not seen that? I've not seen any of this. 
Yeah. I think I think it was I think it was like for for Nice Nissan. Yeah. They did a bunch, they did commercials with the cars like driving through a canyon and they have actual like titans like slamming into the oh. cliff side like with a big creepy grin at the very end the colossal titan bursts out of the ground. It's huge. It looks really cool. So that part makes you feel a little better about that because at least they they have a visual aesthetic that works consistently for a live action production. Um, I'm curious to see how well they're going to do the ODM gear moving because that's so intrinsic to what's so cool about that series is like riding along with the different people on their ODM gear. Spider-Man so ninjas. It's essentially, yeah. yeah Spider-Man ninjas. So I, my opinion would be I'm excited at the prospect of it, but I'm waiting to see more before I make any judgment. Oh. Exactly. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't... <laughs> stop, stop saying its name. You say it three times and you bring it here. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I don't know. Suddenly I just wanted to start rumors. They're like, oh no, Nicolas Cage was like put onto that, right? <laughs> Keanu Reeves is going to be Armin, right? I would watch that. I would totally <laughs> watch Keanu Reeves. Like, the, the Titans came. <laughs> Channing Tatum is Armin. <laughs> That'd be so good. <laughs> Who would you cast as Levi? <laughs> would I cast as Levi? Oh, man. At that rate, Vin Diesel. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> I am Levi. Yeah. And the only thing they get right is the hair. <laughs> yeah. So it's Vin Diesel with that hair. I'd be down with that. I'm for it. I'm for <laughs> it. And Mika says it's inexplicably a man now. Because like, oh, no, we can't have a cool oh, female no, character. I'm like, oh, way to go, America. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody see that Black Butler live action that they did? It was like someone trying to describe... It was like your mom trying to describe the plot of an anime to you and getting, like, every fourth thing kind of wrong, but kind of, but kind of... Uh, the, the fact that the, um, the Phoenix Wright movies are that well the done... Oh, man. I'm learning so much. <laughs> the Phoenix Wright movies are almost shot for shot exactly like the game. All the characters are perfectly exaggerated. Like, they really capture the feel of those games. Awesome. And so as long as they have that kind of visual team paying that much close attention to it to make sure the details come through, then I'll, I'll actually be excited to see it. That's awesome. That is awesome. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll pick the next one then. Let's go up here in the front. Hello. Yeah, you... Oh, oh, sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll get you there after that, then. There was confusion. So, next. No worries. You're coming up next. You there. Yeah. <laughs> You're a magical girl? <laughs> there, uh, there, there, has, there has been artwork. There has been designs. <laughs> Oh well, there's the. Next to him, <laughs> well, I've I've seen I've seen plenty of, of, of fantastic art pieces that have uh, been created via the interwebs, of uh, Sailor Moon Levi's, of <laughs> ver various other magical girl Levi's, um, which is great to see that giant wonderful transformation pose with the most intense expression you've ever seen, <laughs> dark under the eyes. It's delightful. Um, well, I think that definitely may. <laughs> I'll add a little more grace to his spinning attacks, definitely. <laughs> to have, like, sparkles and light shooting out of his blades would be kind of fun. Or have, like, the classic theme music playing as he puts on his club. Like, hito na sariki. And he's just like, whoosh, whoosh. Huh. You know, that'd be... So, so I'd say it feels pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Answer your question pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was about to turn into Cinderella for a second. Cinderella, 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 Cinderella. All right, and then now I'll get your question since you stood up as well. Sorry. Yes. Well, uh, well. To be fair, this is this is kind of one of those chicken and the egg things, you know. When when a man and a woman really love each other. <laughs> <laughs> when two abnormals get together. <laughs> I think I think that's part of the big question of the series. Yeah. Uh, well. Okay. Bordering spoiler. That's a curious question. Uh, bordering spoiler. Bordering you, sir. Spoiler. I'm not sure.
He emailed them and then they flew in when they got it. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> no. It's Mike, Mike is really cool. He's got. He knows. Uh, he does a lot of conventions and he's he's met a lot of these guys and he knows a lot of really good voice actors and so. You know, with a show like this, you w- you want to make sure you get the best darn people, and he did. Like, and that's not always in Texas, so he farmed it out, and and they found some fantastic people. They flew on down and rocked it out for how? I mean, like, you guys had to have like marathon sessions because you just kind of fly yeah, in, fly and do it. Yeah, I, I did two days for all of the first season of Levi, but it was like wow. two six to eight hour days. Just but emotionally, recording. that's got to be like almost more rewarding because you were not allowed to relax. Yeah, you were in the character consistently yeah. for, a mix, for a period of time, so that was really cool. Yeah, th- Thankfully, there are no, like, Texas work visas I have to go for from California. There isn't, like, a whole legal process. It's just flying there. Goodbye! Thanks for coming! Sailor Levi. Um... Yeah, it, w- it was a pretty pretty simple process, uh, and people at Funimation were great, working with Mike is a pleasure, so it's, it's one of those things where... That was a you. Oh, was it? Oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it seemed pretty 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 standard process. One question too. <laughs> I don't know. Just 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 the the just the essence of blood being transferred nearby would probably be too gross for him. Um, being a woman. A kamui, the uh, from Kill the Kill, the oh. Oh. life fiber outfits oh. that. Yeah. Uh, I guess it depends on the personality of the Kamui. I could see him going a little more Satsuki with it. He wouldn't be friends with it. He'd make that Kamui work for him. <laughs> like, yeah, you know who's boss, right? You know, they, like, they would de- definitively make that happen. So, that's exactly. See, we'll make this work. <laughs> he'd iron the crap out of it, is what he'd do. <laughs> that's right. Who wants wrinkles? Come on. Uh, next question. Let's go over here on the far end. Then we'll start coming across. This guy has an awesome voice. <laughs> I only heard like a. S- no, I, I've heard you in other panels. Yeah. I'm in Attack on Titan. I'm the head of the military police. <laughs> <laughs> if I could choose, I'd love to be a scout, but I'm a wiener. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I really. I gotta. If somebody can come up with a better word for him, like I've been searching for it, and that's all I can. I just look at him. I'm like, he's a wiener. He's just a wiener. <laughs> there's, there's not. There's, there's. A <laughs> he's a wuss. He's a. He's not a pacifist. He's not a pacifist. He's a wuss. Well, he's not necessarily a wuss. He's just. He's fancy. <laughs> I like that. He's fancy. He's a, done. He's I'm a done. fancy wiener. He's just a fancy wiener. <laughs> he's a fancy wiener. It's a good band name. With a bolo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 um, um. <laughs> Next question to the hook. And to answer your question oh, real yeah. fast. Oh, sorry. Before we get to that one, sorry. Uh, I'd probably go scouts too because I, I, I've, I've too much of a seeker of knowledge mentality. Like I, The fact that there is that mystery out there, I would be willing to die on the front lines to have some glimpse into why these things are happening as opposed to just right. staying in a, this oblivious behind the wall nature. And I die in the first week, like I know that. <laughs> 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 Basically, like, oh, maybe I can talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Done, like that's, that's me. This is assuming that we can actually hold ourselves up. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> ah, shut up. Shut up. I told you, man. I was like, I think I'm going to drink Red Bull for this panel. <laughs> Sorry, where, wherever I pointed, I completely uh, still feel that way. Hi there. Have you? I haven't, actually. They have a Hitalia and Head Tack on Titan? <laughs> really? The only crossover I'm I've seen is is the Marvel Attack on Titan crossover that appar- apparently is happening. Which which I, I I thought about it and I was like logistically that's just going to be a really short series. You'd think because it's like you know yeah Attack on Titan is a very intense show where they're they're limited in their technology and it's mostly their only form of attack against the Titans are personal attacks with blades. 
uh, in the Marvel Universe, they <laughs> just call down like a laser strike from S.H.I.E.L.D. and like, well, that's done. Right? <laughs> or be like, hey, Falcon, uh, we're going to go to lunch. Can you take care of this? <laughs> done. Shawarma. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how that plays out. I'm really curious to see how confused every Marvel superhero is going to be. Well, actually, they, uh, if they're just showing up in the Marvel Universe, they wouldn't have had all that time. Okay, I'm going to get a little nerdy. They would have had all that time to prep and understand the weaknesses of it, and so they'd probably attack them in places like faces and hearts and everything, and they wouldn't be actually, actually taking them down because they were not going to go for the nape of the next home. Actually, they're going to sit around and blah, blah, blah. Because they wouldn't know. They wouldn't know because they just showed up. Yeah. I'm sure Logan would figure it out pretty quick. Yeah. No, he'd probably just slash the crap out of it and let it regenerate and slash the crap out of it and let it regenerate. No, you're right. Yeah. No, it's going to be a very long a series. Very long. No, <laughs> until like like Iron Man's like, hold on. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I got it. And back of the neck. <laughs> and it's over. It's a good question, though. <laughs> then Hank Pym's nearby going like, I was going to say that. I was going to do that. Dang it. But be pretentious about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you said Hank McCoy. You yeah. said Hank Pym. Hank Pym. And then I'm going to go beat a woman about it. Yeah. Oh, Hank Pym. I'm not even going to go into that. Terrible. Jesus has a question. You guys get quiet when Jesus is going to talk. I'm just saying. Shh. <laughs> Wherever Jesus is, it be a church. This is the Sermon of Titan. <laughs> I would love to hear like a low droning Gregorian chant version of that song. I don't know how to say that, but Josh Greeley, when we watched it together, we, we didn't do it on marathon mode. Every time it would come up, he would go, I have the sex with the bees and the eagles. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would look at me and laugh. And every time, God, I love him. He's so great. <laughs> oh, that changes everything about the theme. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and it's, it's that, and it's also, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. No, no. <laughs> Bootylicious. I'm well-versed in all things booty, so Good. this is a, it's a thing. Um, your, your question is, don't cl all yes, right. clap. Uh, let's booty, go up booty. front here, actually. Uh, you, sir, with the Harry Potter. Porter. Can Titans reproduce? Uh, as far as I know, pretty early in the series, they, they mentioned that there is no reproductive organs. That's part of the mystery of the Titans. Well, right. who knows? I mean... But they... But, but Do they say that? They, they said that. They mentioned that pretty well, early. Well, they don't have human-looking reproductive organs. It could be like their pinky is like... That'd be the Don't weirdest thing ever. It's that assumption that like it's kind of like how people assume like uh, like all aliens have to have humanoid features to function in the same way as humans. Like, like wh how uh, wh who says titans have to do that? Maybe maybe they just like laugh at each other and that's how they produce <laughs> it. You know, I mean, like that's what we need now—the image of two titans laughing at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Baby fall. <laughs> And there's your answer. Laughter. 50 points. <laughs> you pick. Okay. Um, dude, you've had that mask up for a while, so you totally get to ask a question. Right, right. For the most part, for anime specifically, largely not done through agencies, as far as I know. Um, there are no real like anime voiceover agencies, and if there is one out there that tells you like, yeah, we specialize in anime, they're probably not legitimate. Yeah, a voiceover, uh, you know, yeah, there you go. A, a voiceover agency, it would be like general voiceover. Um, I mean, it depends on on where you're looking and kind of where where you're looking for specifically. Um, depending on where you are, 
most anime is done in New York, Los Angeles, or Dallas, and some of them in Houston and as well, right? Houston too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like Texas, New York, California, those are kind of the three options if you want to work in anime. Uh, if you want to do general voiceover, there are more options when it comes to localized commercial work, which pays really well. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you know, radio commercials, yeah. local television commercials for car dealerships and jewelry stores and that kind of stuff where you're like, you know, this Saturday, come on down and get a free pair of, you know, galoshes at Home Depot. That kind of stuff. I would love some free galoshes from Home Depot, That would be the great. Way. They'd be orange. I know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Right, right. Um. Well, I, I, well, first I do want to cover the, the, the agency and everything like that. I, exactly what you said. First of all, you have to be in the market where you go, uh, where, where it is. If you're not, like, the fact that he got to be in Funimation stuff and it was sent out to them was because he is a well-established actor and was right for it and, and, and booked it. And it was a part big enough. Because if, if that was, a, like, a one-hour part for you to come yeah. out, you might be like, That's, I'm getting less money than I'm going to spend on that plane ride and me staying. So I, yeah. I, I, can't, I can't do that. <laughs> so you got to be kind of in the market. Um, most of us were doing acting. Yeah. And then this was one of the venues. When you're an actor, you have to be able to, if you're especially a voice actor, uh, well, no. Any kind of actor, you have to do as mu many different types of actor. If you are a stage actor, you're going to try to do commercial. You're going to try to do um, industrial stuff. If you're a voice actor, you better you try to do narration. Yep. Yep. You try to do uh, commercial. Uh, audiobooks, commercial. Video games. Yeah. Yep. All of these things. On camera for all stuff as well. You hit all forms of acting to train and prepare yourself for that, and then voiceover is part of that field that you go into because you never know which one's going to supplement each other. Um, this just seemed to be the one that's. But, but that, 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 that's a great point of entry. Is, I mean, and you mm -hmm. start working in audiobooks and narration and getting that is a great community to begin to build a network from. And then what, that's really what a lot of it is, is getting to establish yourself in one part of the field, network through there, and then find ways to meet people that are responsible for casting and running other audio projects. And then being, being and, and not, not in a pushy way, not in like a show up to the front door of Funimation being like, hey, you should cast me. Do not do that. We've had people that's do that. And, th and there are locks on the doors now because of that. Like we have people who came in and like did monologues and stuff. Like you try to go through the channels. Um, if you want to audition for places like Funimation, uh, go to the Funimation website. Uh, you can submit your stuff from there. And then you get put into a, um, a, a stable. And then, I mean, I'm sure it's all sorts of studios. It's the yeah. same thing. Uh, two to what? 345? Um, cool, because we're going to end up with a lightning round in a little while. Cool. Um, so you have to uh, so be in that market and be available and whatever else I was saying. I totally believe it, but I lost my train of thought. Yeah. Um, big, big points. I'll try, try and close this off. Be ready for rejection. Oh, yeah. Most of our career is rejection. Yeah. Don't let that deter you, and don't expect it to happen soon. I had many years of very creative living in a tiny studio apartment in North Hollywood before I began to even make a semblance of an income through voiceover. You know, it's a passion first and foremost, and you have to treat it as a passion. And if it eventually becomes a career, wonderful. Some people it won't. I have many friends who've been trying for years, and, you know, they're still trying, even though it's not working. And eventually, some of them will get there. But it's really, you have to consider it as a passion more than a career choice that can eventually become one. Because that's really what's going to bring you on that more competitive level if you come at it from a passionate, heartfelt standpoint than anything else. So do the training, be diligent, be prepared for a lot of rejection, and be prepared for creative living. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no worries. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Uh, I'm a fan of the Tri-Corner hat. Creative living. I like that. <laughs> that means flavoring, flavoring ramen. Oh, dude, I lived without electricity for six months. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we had a plug running to the, my neighbor's place. That's creative living. That is yeah. very creative. <laughs> I like that term. <laughs> okay. Hello. Please. Yes. Are you in any other fandoms? And if so, who's your favorite Many fandoms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're both big yeah, nerds. Yeah, you're talking <laughs> to two nerds. Um, okay, so what is um, so we're both comic books. Yep. Uh, Marvel or DC? I'm a Marvel guy. Me too, because we like story development and character. Oh. Um, <laughs> ew, I love saying that, except for oh, Batman. Uh, Batman uh, doesn't count. Go Gotham is its own little bastion. It is. In DC. It is. Gotham I mean, is good. you can see with the new Fifty Two, they were like, "Oh, I'm not going to touch Batman. Yep. Mm, that's good." <laughs> um, yeah. No, we're both big comic book fans, and uh, I. This man is awesome with board games. I've been talking to him about it all weekend. I went and stayed at his place, and I was like, i got to play a board game with you, and it's awesome. Like, it's one of the coolest experiences I've had. Um, yeah, no. Um, so what are your favorite pairings in your fandoms? Oh, wow. I mean, there's always Logan and Jean Grey, but um, I really... 
I really got into Scott Summers and Emma Frost for a while because yeah. she made him a better man, and then she, and she did stuff. <laughs> <laughs> made me say it. Uh, uh, I man, there's ma- many fandoms. It's hard to to pick one. Uh, oh man, I would have to say Sokka and Toph and Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, th- I love I love both series, the original Avatar and Korra, but but Sokka and, and Korra, uh, uh, Sokka and, and Toph, both some of my favorite characters in the original series, and then seeing how that maybe didn't work out in the end through Korra, but uh, <laughs> but seeing that relationship kind of blossom at the end of Avatar was fantastic. I love that. So I hope that was satisfactory. <laughs> Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> so with the Titan panel, you hear this <laughs> in the distance. You're like, okay, no, 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 that's not real. Just <laughs> <sighs> like, no, this stuff's only supposed to last eight <laughs> hours. <Like> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Go ahead. With the, with the, with the, with the uh, yes, yes, yes. Please. Okay. What is your question? No. No. <laughs> Where is this? <laughs> Are there spoilers in it? Wait, okay. Fangle? No. I like <laughs> These are my fangles. <laughs> It's like some weird offshoot of Fandango. <laughs> crawled into a corner and germinated. <laughs> Fangle. All right, well, I'll look that up. Cool. Your turn. Um, all right, I will choose. If someone's had a hand up for a while. If, if Levi went into Italia? You probably should answer this question because you probably know more about Italia than I do. <laughs> what would Levi do in Italia? I don't find that he would be uh, amused by many people. Um, yeah, he'd get along with Germany. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of my answer. <laughs> no. Oh, j- I d- it's like you, you you want to like let somebody sit down, but the first person that you're like, oh, I'm gonna call on you because you're standing. Everybody else is like, what? <laughs> but go ahead, since I made an example out of you, and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Aaron's not mentally messed up. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I apologize. It's okay. So, um, work on phrasing. So, yeah. It's an interesting point. I think a lot of mental traumas don't necessarily instill themselves or present themselves early. So, I think it's going to be a slow climb into madness for Aaron regardless. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, he's got, his <laughs> boy's got problems, um, and with good reason. Yeah. I, I, think, I think it's kind of the interesting point they're going to start pulling on the story, too, is the trauma of those that can do that, and kind of that experience as to why they do it as well. Uh, and to, to answer your question the best I can, uh, I, I, I think Aaron definitely has some serious mental trauma, I, but I think it's just the tip of the iceberg now. Because he, he's, you know, we've seen him undergo some horrible, horrible experiences, but I think this is just the beginning. He's only just barely gotten past the wall once, and this all went down. Yeah. Yeah, I think the fact that he has people like Levi and Irvin that put somebody who's putting faith into him, and of course having, you know, Mikasa and Armin there, he has people that can keep him at bay, that can keep him tethered, to who he once was and not slip too far into that kind of furious anger 
Um, but that I'm curious to see how that plays out in future season. I mean, go for it, ma'am. You I'd want us to give you the identity <laughs> of the colossal time? You're trolling me. <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, I don't know. But there's a poster downstairs who will tell you. <laughs> yeah. I have a question. How does it end? <laughs> so in the last three seconds after all this stuff happens that I'm going to tell everybody in the room, <laughs> what did you think? Uh, that, that was really yeah. clever. I will warn you. I saw about four or five laser sights on your forehead as you said <laughs> yeah. that question. So be careful. Be careful. Uh, yeah. All right, let's pick one over here. We got a couple over here we want to grab a fast. You go for it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go with the pretty flowers because there's like four fingers pointing at you. Oh, I know what shipped means. We know what shipped <laughs> means. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've seen the fan art. <laughs> so you're asking the OTP question? We covered that. What was yours? Oh, like I guess I, I, I definitely still feel strongly, and it's in the story, and in a very like heartbreaking way, which I think really kind of gives a poignant point to Levi's character. You normally don't get a chance to see because he's so guarded with his real feelings. I think um, the whole Petra Levi thing is just so strong to my heart. Um, but I do get a lot of amusement out of the. Uh, the <laughs> Levi Aaron kind of Dom sub relationship that the internet has <laughs> developed, which is quite hilarious. Oh, I bet there's a lot of that. Uh, oh yeah, well, yeah. And, and me and Tatum have had many conversations about the Levi Irvin connection as well. Because mm -hmm. there's there's definitely like a, like if there was a power couple in the oh, yeah. Titan universe right now, it would be Levi and Irvin. Oh yeah. <laughs> but you, what's your OTP? I just told you. I said. I said. <laughs> Irvin and Niall. Good. See, that's all you need to answer. Uh, consistent. Again. Good. Now you pick. Um, the broom. Hi again. No, we have kept this panel spoiler free specifically for you. What's with Levi and cleaning? <sighs> Good question. Because, okay. oh, that is oh, good to know. Okay, I'm just making sure. Sorry. So, yeah, so they, they do go into that with, like, no regrets or anything? Okay, good to know. So I'll keep an eye out for that. Oh, no. Oh, you have the Super <laughs> commercial up? Bring it oh. up. No, no, no. I'm going to watch it. You guys can continue doing a Q&A. While, while, while he's watching it, thank you for that. I'm going to go ahead and answer your question best I can. Uh, well, hopefully, evidently, they're going to go over that in the series, so that'll be a nice answer for all of us when we get it. Um, uh, well, first off, it's nice to be clean, yeah. right? I mean, we've seen how slovenly a lot of the lifestyles behind the walls are. Maybe it's nice to have somebody who takes care of his lifestyle. Um, yeah, the, the, the very OCD aspect of it, I, I assumed was... And a, a lot of the show deals with trauma. That's such a big theme in Attack on Titan. A lot of the way people are is because of trauma they've undergone, and they are, their, their personality shifts because of what they've experienced and gone through. So I assume that Levi's, many of his various personality quirks are based on the things he's seen and the things that he's done in the past. So I'm curious to see what actually causes that to happen. But, um, but yeah, so I guess we'll find out. <laughs> but I like to think he's just, he just he's fed up with other people being so filthy. <laughs> work? We'll find out. I don't know. You press the thing. You press, press, press the thing. The thing. I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you got like five pictures of us. Well, well, now you definitely now don't. You have <laughs> pictures of us. <laughs> uh, yeah, it took a while to pull up. Thank you, though. I'll look it up on the plane and weird out the people next to me going, ah, the, it's, a, <laughs> it's a titan. Uh, never mind. We got time for a few more questions, then we got the oh, lightning round. we do. We got a few more questions, then a lightning round. Oh, uh, your choice, my choice. Uh, I'll I'll go over here. Oh, wait. yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, her, and then I'll get you. If he wouldn't be a wiener, <laughs> he'd be a good guy and have some guts and go and kill a darn titan once in a while. 
I wish he was a little bit taller. I wish it was a bother. I wish they had a girl with a thing in the car. No, uh, I don't know. I, 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 I kind of like how he is. It's, it's hard to pick anything to change. Like, logistically, as a more functioning human being, yeah, there's things I would change about him if I was really concerned about his livelihood as a human being. But I think all of his quirks kind of make him who he is, and I wouldn't want to change any of that. You know, it's fun to play that bundle of neuroses. <laughs> very, very covert neuroses. Uh, let's see, then, then we'll get to Mario, and then we'll sweep by for a couple quick questions. Make this quick. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I've, I mean, you guys already may have asked this question before, and are you guys going to make a, are you guys going to have a Kuma assignment like Jumpman Club? Yeah. 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 I mean, they're being done in Japan now, they announced that, but. It's, <laughs> we, nothing is in the works uh, on our end, but, I mean, do you really think that Funimation would go, well, that didn't work out, let's not do another season. <laughs> <laughs> what the dude? <laughs> Don't make me come over there. We got so far. No spoilers. Uh, I'm glad the people over here. Did you hear? Did you hear? Tell me you didn't hear. You didn't hear. Good. Good. <laughs> it, it, the manga keeps going. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, yo, Attack on Titan is gonna—they're gonna keep making tons. Of, dude, they have Attack on Titan cologne in Japan, and if you can sell Otaku's cologne, man, like, <laughs> you've got something, bro. That's a very valid point. So let's get another couple. Um, Spear. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Uh, my my favorite scene. Oh, my computer! My computer won't record for me. <laughs> no. In the good view. Yeah. Hmm? Hello, by the way. Sorry, you can't be here. Sorry. We love you anyway. Hi. Uh, I I really enjoyed beating the crap out of Bryce Pappenbrook in court. That was fun. That yeah. was such a good episode. <laughs> no. So many good characters were introduced in that episode. <laughs> What's great, what's great about that episode is I, I was the first to record that episode, so I went in first with nothing else to play off of. It's an entire courtroom of just silent characters, no M&E. So it's kind of performing in a void, which was, it's always an interesting challenge. But, uh, but really enjoyed it, got, got to do it, and then I came back months later to do pickups on it, and everybody else recorded, so then I got to hear the entire courtroom as one piece. And it was just so much more fulfilling as a performer than being able to play off that and really get, get into knocking him down. You know, some people just need to be taught a lesson. Um, uh, mine is a spoiler, so I can't. Uh, but I will say, just just like you, the thing is, is I, I watched a couple episodes before I auditioned, and then uh, when I didn't get anything, and I didn't think, I mean, I, I, I wasn't given a part until way late. So, like, I just thought. I'm not going to be in this, but they have, we have tons of really good actors. I cannot wait to sit down and binge this dub. This is what I'm going to do. And that's why it was the God help you if you spoiler anything for me because I don't really want to watch it. So it was, it was getting to see some really some top of the, top of the biz. You guys are like, like doing some just, just incredible work and really getting to watch your friends really, really kick ass. And it was, it was amazing. And, and, and yeah, it was, it was great. So, uh, so, so the rewatch for me, and actually, I got to watch it. Uh, the whole thing I watched three feet away from Armin. Like Josh was with me. Like we were drinking beer, and and he, because I, because he got a copy of it, I was not given a copy of it. So he would come over and be like, "Oh no, no, that's fine. Who wants to give Niall Doc a copy of it? Like really? <laughs> I had a couple hours worth of work. You give it to the big people, and I'm I'm like 18th tier. Like really. Um, so uh, Josh would come over and show it all to me, and um, he got to watch me experience. Like I I didn't know he was doing it at the time, but like th when his big scream happens, uh, he 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 told me that like right before it, he just kind of started looking and watched me be like. <gasps> and I looked at him, and he's like. <laughs> It was great. So, so watching it with Josh Greeley actually is my favorite part of Attack on Titan. That was yeah. that was really special for me. Um, I say just to m shorten the lightning round, we will take one more question, and I want you to choose it. Thanks. I know. Thanks. I can choose it if no you want. No pressure. We can paper rock scissors for it. Try to find somebody who hasn't asked a question yet today, so we can get through here. 
I have, I have this strange sensation that a large majority of the center of the room likes this woman in wonderful lavender dress to ask a question. <laughs> yeah, you, you were right. I know. It's like I'm psychic. It's crazy. No, no, no. Is that spoiler? You could Wikipedia that. I mean, that's their name. I don't know. Uh, I th uh, to me, when I first heard that, I was like, oh, so he, he hadn't decided on what Levi's last name was. And when someone asked him, he was like, uh, Ackerman. <laughs> and they're like, oh, you mean like Mika Zadi? He's like, oh, dang it. No, uh. Uh, I mean, yes. I mean, <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, because because this distinctly, they are two different you know, heritages. Like part of, part of what makes her stand out so much in the show is that she is of Asian descent, whereas everyone else is kind of European and Germanic in their, uh, uh, their background. So um, I don't know if there's any blood history yet, but that'd be curious to see if that comes to play in the future. Um, I mean, they're both kind of dark, quiet badasses. So, I mean, that definitely, yeah. there is a, a mentality, you know, connection there, but from a historical standpoint, it would be too convenient like, I would be kind of disappointed if it was, because I'd be like, oh, of course. Yeah. It's going to be like Final Fantasy VIII. Like, oh, they all went to the same orga uh, orphanage together, of course. Mm. Oh. You know, I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Deus Ex Machina's and stories and ways of just tying things too Neat well little packages, together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I'd like to think there isn't, and I think it's just a, a coincidence that will play into some fun jokes in the past when people give them both crap for having the same last name. <laughs> I had the same curiosity, really. No, I had that question. So, okay, this is awesome for me. We've got about six minutes. I do this at the end of uh, a lot of my panels because it's fun for me, and now I get to rope Matt into it. We're going to do a lightning round, so uh -huh. a lot of you guys get to ask questions. Um, here's how this works. Make them short, and, uh, short questions, but make them random. I mean, what color horse would you want if you lived on Venus? Like, weird. And I, not about anime, I mean, it could be about anime if you want, but make sure that we can answer it quickly. Don't say, how do you get in the business? Or what did you do? Did blah, blah, blah. Like, we want quick answers that we can give you. If We're you ask go. a long question, you'll get a quick answer. Yeah. Uh, want. So I want to, um, so we will begin. Well, I'll, I'll pick a person, you pick a person. Let's do it. And Let's then do it. Um, we both answer the question and we'll go. Batman. Ooh. Batman. <laughs> go. Uh, you. What? Can you show you that after the panel? No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sure. 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 You. With the mask. <laughs> Who composed the music for your show? Your mom. I don't know, dude. <laughs> His mom. My mom. My, it was my mom. It was my mom. <laughs> Hello. What do you think of Hundy? This is awesome. Yeah. Um, meh. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Go. Favorite superhero, Wolverine. Oh, Nightcrawler. Ooh! Uh, yeah, you, sir, with the blue shirt. Have you played Earthbound? Yes, I have. That's one of my favorite RPGs. Yeah. No, I haven't. You. <laughs> huh? Big-ass trees. Big ass trees. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Yeah. Big-ass trees. Bigger. Oh, wait. Big-ass trees. <laughs> you. Booty. Boobs. <laughs> uh, see, uh, you in the blue coat right there. Yeah. Uh, oh, Scottish all the way. <laughs> I, uh, either Scots or, uh, frankly, Irish has been a thing for me recently. Irish is, Irish is, fun Irish well. is so much fun. Law. Huh? Oh, Dark Souls or Skyrim? Uh, Skyrim. <laughs> Dark Souls. All right, all right. I love them both. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, you, sir, with the coat. How would Dandy do an attack on Titan? How would Dandy do an attack on Titan? Did you see him shoot anything during the series once? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> what do you say? Um, standing, yeah, with the hands, <laughs> waving. Okay, so the attack on Titan, are there any teenage Titans? That, that's not a random question. Next Maybe. question. <laughs> uh, the hair Maybe. of that. <laughs> Oh, okay. no, baby, don't you worry about nothing. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> Blue hair. God, I hope. <laughs> DLC. Uh, uh, you with the cleaver. Oh, Worst TV show? Man. 
I did not care for the Wolverine anime. That's the way I'll say that. I was with with anime. The Wolverine anime. No, with anime is your question. Oh, TV just show? general TV show. Oh, oh keeping up with the Kardashians. That's repugnant. Oh yeah. <laughs> I would say that if I'd seen it, I avoided it on purpose. Oh, a girl, uh, I show did. Show that I was invested in and was terrible. Heroes. Um, no. yeah. Yeah. um bloody beard. Dragon Ball Z. Unico and the Island of Magic. Ooh. Old school, people. Ooh. Do your research. <laughs> uh, over here in the corner. Oh, Patrick. SpongeBob. <laughs> um, Horsehead. <laughs> oh, no. They, um, they both keep coming back. Uh, good, good, uh, Vegeta. <laughs> Reese. Because <laughs> I'm stronger than everybody. Okay. Say go. Uh, I'll launch into that into another one. Um, Levi. Oh, uh, uh, melee because Mewtwo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go with uh, you right here in the front. How dandy is Attack on Titan? It's dandy as hell, baby. Quite dandy. <laughs> um, uh, you. Okay, we'll come back to you. <laughs> Go ahead, pick another one. Okay, uh, right there with the. Did you become a clean freak? No. <laughs> I surprisingly did. Um, yeah. Is is Darth Vader a Titan? Yes, Darth Vader is a Titan. This is how I keep from spoilers. Yeah. You. Episode seven. Me, what? Oh, Aaron Mikasa or Aaron Annie? Aaron Mikasa. Aaron Mikasa, yeah. Sorry, Lauren. Uh, Alchemist bag in the back. Favorite movie? Um, God, that's hard. Anything Marvel, frankly. I'm not. I'm. I'm. Probably Fellowship of the Ring. Ooh. In the whole trilogy, but that one. Good call. We got about five more. So. All right. All right. Pikachu. Pepsi, actually. Ew, ew. If if I have to, Coke. Uh, holding the Levi doll, the Hello Kitty shirt. Uh, tea or coffee? Tea. Coffee. <laughs> um, sir. Favorite Pokemon. Um. Yeah, <laughs> me too for me. Gonna go Bulbasaur. <laughs> you don't even have to evolve that, dude. Yeah. Um. Uh, cat ears and tail. <laughs> Irvin's got the booty. <laughs> Irvin's got the booty. Thank you for coming to our panel. <laughs> Thank you, guys.